Thanks for clicking on State of the City. My name is Todd Prafke. I'm the City Administrator here in St. Peter. And today is a beautiful day, a very sunny day. Um, it's Tuesday. I think it's probably about 50 degrees, but the wind so far this morning is pretty chilly. Um, I really have two missions for today for this State of the City. Uh, first of all, to review the workshop from just last night on April uh, 7th. Today's April 8th, Tuesday, April 8th. And then the second is to provide you a few tidbits of information that we hope make your life here in St. Peter better. Um, so first about the workshop, and again remember, um, here's a workshop packet. You can get all this information, exactly what you see here, and all of the accompanying information um, is on our website. So you can take a look more closely if you'd like. But let me hit on two primary issues, um, well three issues that were from the goal setting session last night. First, frozen water service mains, that's our water service lines. We've had over 70 homes or businesses that have had frozen water service lines this summer and the council, or this winter, and the council wanted us to bring back some information related to, you know, how many gallons of water were used, what was that cost, how many folks was it, is there some kind of rhyme or reason to those that froze or those that didn't freeze. And so we provided some preliminary information to the council and they sent us back and said, well, bring us some more. There's a few other things that we'd like to see figured out as well. And so we're going to do that at an upcoming uh, workshop. So probably two weeks from now is the next time that will be discussed. The council hasn't made any decisions. So if you're one of those homes that, that had a frozen water service line and you're saying, well, I'm hoping they'll give me a credit on my bill or um, I don't, you know, it's my problem. The policy is really clear. It's my problem. Uh, whatever position you might be in, the council's made no decision yet. Although I got to tell you, um, it takes a little bit for them to vary from their current policy, which is that frozen water service lines are the responsibility of the property owner, in this instance, the home or the business owner. Um, so stay tuned for that. They're going to be getting some more information and maybe they'll change their mind, but that's really where they sit right now. The second item that the council talked about was what we call plates or construction details. And so here's kind of a great example of what might look like. This is a detailed drawing of what um, street lights might look like. Here's one for a storm sewer um, design F manhole. Now there's six or eight of them in our packet. The council reviews these on a regular basis. On an occasion, staff makes recommended changes based on changes in practice or standards or materials or lots of different things. And so we update these on a regular basis. They are on our website, and the council will look to approve these new ones. Some of them are changes, some of them are some new ones, and they'll be uploaded on our website. And these are what contractors have to use as they're, use as they're building roads or making improvements or making fixes or maybe building something for you. Um, so make sure that your contractor knows, and they're all available online on our website, stpetermn.gov, and so contractors can readily see what the expectations are for the type, kind, of materials, and the construction that goes on. Again, those are also included in our um, packet. Um, last item that I want to mention, this wasn't a planned agenda item, but we talked about and gave the council an update. Um, Russ and Lou and uh, the folks from DOT are all meeting with Chamber out at Haber's this Wednesday, so on the 9th, tomorrow. I think it's at 4 o'clock in the afternoon out there to talk about the 99 bridge work and um, the closure that's going to happen this summer. Now I don't know a lot of the details, but we want to make sure that you know that this is going on. There's going to be a reconstruction of that Highway 99 bridge. And so for uh, some period this summer, that bridge is going to be closed and there's going to be a detour up on 21, which many people know as the uh, golf course road up on the hill in LeSueur County. Um, but this is an opportunity for you to get some additional information if you want it. You can certainly call us or call DOT and we'll be happy to give you that information. We want to make sure that people know that that's going on and so that if you're going east, uh, going to the east or coming west across that bridge anytime during uh, a period during the summer, your transportation uh, regular route is going to be impacted. So we want to get that information and this is a great way for us to visit with folks so that they have some kind of update. DOT is bidding that project right now so I don't believe that any contractor has been selected. I don't think the bids are due actually until this Friday. Um, but they're really in the planning stages. Things are moving ahead and want to give an opportunity for folks to know what's going on. Now let me get to tidbits. Here's a couple of interesting ones. Since we're going to have some really nice summer days, we want to make sure that folks remember that park restrooms do not typically open until May 1st. 
that's going to be especially true this year because we still have frost in the ground we still have some really cold evenings and we want to avoid the potential for damage in those facilities from freezing water pipes or water lines or faucets those kind of things um, so typically we don't open till May 1st that will be the case this year as well so if you're looking for um, restroom use in those parks you're not going to be able to get it until after May 1st so please be aware of that also we're starting street sweeping you probably saw it well even before the last snowfall we are going full guns and we'll be sweeping all this week and next week now that sweeping is very important to us not just to make our community look good but it helps keep sediment from entering into the Minnesota River additional pollutants and so from an uh, um, environmental standpoint it's very 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 important stuff that we're doing and we'll have two street sweepers going and as we get material picked up as we get into probably May or June we'll start to provide some additional data about the amount of material the tons of material that we picked up that uh, then obviously don't go uh, in the stormwater system and then some of it obviously does not then get to the Minnesota River protecting our environment is a very important part of what we're here to do in St. Peter um, I also want to mention that I know some people have seen big frost boils and heaves and roads that are much more wavy than usual this year because of the very cold winter now frost is not out of the ground yet and so boy you're gonna see that for a while until that frost goes out many or maybe even really probably most of those will go back to normal um, but for a while it's gonna be inconvenient there's not really a good fix for us to do in the interim here so drive slow be safe um, pay attention to what's going on when there are really bad ones we try and mark them with cones or signage um, but please watch for that or if you have one in your neighborhood that uh, you think needs to get marked give us a call let us know and we'll go out and take a look to see if we need to mark it um, one last item I, I was gonna mention this under frozen water services but but this might be important again with those 70 some folks we have many of those folks that are still running water kind of uh, I don't have one here in well, maybe I do um, pencil size stream of water is what they're running and um, we'll try and work either through Facebook well through Facebook through the hot sheet um, through discussions at the council meeting to let people know when we think they're safe not to keep this water running you can certainly take your chances on your own measure your water temperature those kind of things that if you're one of those 70 some we've probably given you some data on um, but um, please um, be careful about how you do that we don't want to have to come back out and unthaw you again but we'll get some word out when we see that it's uh, more safe again right now even though it might be thawed on the top of the soil for a few inches because the sun's been beating down that frost gets driven down and there's still lots of frost in the ground after our cold winter um, so please watch for that data and that information. Now with that, I'm going to wrap it up really quick here. Here's how you can get a hold of us. Email me at that address. You can check out our website, of course, or Facebook. We'd love it if you'd like us on Facebook. Um, there you go is our Facebook or our phone number. We'd love to come and visit with you or answer any questions that you have to the best of our ability. Hey, with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching State of the City. Hope to see you again next time.